Hi, Dave out in Western Pennsylvania, USA. This is part three of the uh, carbon battery. The prior parts I showed you, the, uh, part one, I deposited zinc, electroplated zinc on a graphite electrode. Uh, you can do that with a transistor battery, a nine volt very easily at home or at school. The other is untreated graphite electrode graphite rods I have. You could probably do it with the graphite from burn some pencils. You can get graphite that way. Uh, I have a polyurethane foam in there just as an insulator to keep the electrodes from shorting. It's in aqueous epsom salt, magnesium sulfate, heptahydrate. Part two, uh, I showed you the performance of open voltage and uh, short circuit. And what I did was I applied for just about two minutes with my power supply, uh, I delivered about 11 volts. It was about 350 milliamps for just a couple of minutes. There's hydrogen evolution, so if you're going to repeat that and attempt to uh, recharge this cell, um, go easy on the voltage. Cut it down to uh, three volts. Let it go longer. But I wanted to see if I would be able to charge it up. Um, very simple battery, an interesting one, and uh, look, it brought it up to 1.11 uh, volts. It's been stabilized there. When I first took it off the power supply, I think it was around 1.7, but it's dropping down to potential. And uh, let me short it out now and see what happens. 